Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do uh, gain staging. The simplest way of gain staging that is really gonna help you a lot, especially uh, when it comes to, uh, to your mixes. Basically, gain staging is the pre-mix process of changing the gain of all your recordings so that they sit around the same level. What gain staging does is that um, it helps your vocals not to clip and also helps your instruments not to clip and at the same time helps you to uh, your instruments to have more space for each other and also have more space uh, for vocals. Now is it a must? Um, no. There are some times there are certain plugins which are a little bit uh, lower in volume and if they are not clipping then why try to gain stage i have an instrumental that i'm working on right now this one and just do this so that i show you First of all, uh, before you start gain staging all your instruments, make sure that your instruments are in what is called uh, the sweet spot or the sweet place. Uh, usually it's in the area of negative 18 dBFS. That's, that's simple, I will explain later, and it doesn't even matter, so don't mind it. I'm gonna show you using an, uh, a VU meter. You can download the v a VU meter it's free you can get it anywhere there are so many just google it up now the street place is that place which most of the plugins that we use um, in our studios are designed after the analog models so they have a certain uh, sweet spot they have a certain place which were, they were designed for when you hit that place it really just brings out everything that it was intended for the volume is uh, becomes much better and uh, much louder and uh, it also adds a little bit of that analog uh, feel to your instruments never you bring down the volumes make sure that you take all right let me show you what I mean by the sweet spot or the sweet place and this is what all the international uh, producers or the industry uh, producers mixers th they all use this they make sure that the inst their instruments are hitting at least hitting around that sweet spot and this is what you have to be doing all the time before you start uh, again staging so I'm gonna go to uh, open channel then I'm gonna uh, go to all you have to do is uh, for you to get a meter that is going to help you uh, put your instruments in that uh, level of a sweet spot. Uh, here is where you find the meters in Cubase 5. All you got to do is go to Analyzer and then uh, get VU Meter Stereo. Look at the volume for the dynamic uh, guitar right here. It's really low. It's in the area of uh, negative uh, 20. So it's really low. So I I'm just going to get this volume to the area that I talked about. So negative 18 dBFS is about here. Or 0 uh, dBVU, it's about here. So this is the 18 that I'm talking about. The sweet spot is around this area, just here. So I'm going to get that instrument. Uh, the, that in, instrument's volume to uh, to around this area. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna increase the volume. I've, I've loaded in, I've put um, SSL, channel stereo, so I can just boost up the volume, uh, the plugin volume. So here we go. Uh, 
all right at least it's hitting somewhere here so i'm gonna do the same to um before we go to gain staging i'm not i'm gonna do the same to this one get my uh view meter from analyzer then uh view meter then i'm gonna do the same make sure that it is around this area so so at least it is in that area then i'm gonna go to uh the next one which is this one open and then i'm gonna put everything in that sweet spot view meter ssl volume All right, at least uh, it's it's uh, somewhere there. Then I'm gonna go to my next uh, instrument. Get the view meter. Remember, I'm doing this so that I can put the plugins, the instruments in that sweet spot. Most of these plugins were recorded in analog, so we wanna get them to that place which they are supposed to be. This is the reason why we are taking our instruments to the sweet uh, spot here is my view meter then i'm gonna increase the volume it sounds as if the volume is too much but this is uh, recommended it's supposed to be somewhere here Well, at least uh, it is in this area right here, so it's okay. And um, that's all for now. Now, um, gain staging, the premix process of changing the gain of all your recordings. So we are going to change all the gains, uh, the gain for all this recording and make sure they sit around the same volume. Now, a lot of people just, um, Let's say if something is clipping, let's say, let's say this guitar is clipping, then what they do is just uh, come here, uh, use the volume and just. But during, uh, this is different from uh, gain staging. This is reducing the volume and Gain staging is how loud a track is before any process. So this is why I had to start by putting the uh, plugins in that sweet spot and make them loud. And then Gain Staging 2 is going to help me to make sure that all is balanced. Then secondly, volume is how loud a track is after any process. So volume is actually... Uh, the output and gain is the input level so volume is different from gain uh having explained that i'm just gonna take it back to zero and then where do you uh do the gain reduction in cubase 5 listen to this so i'm gonna press f3 i have my mixer here and then I'm gonna go to my gain knob, which is this one right here, input gain, the one which is written input gain. So you can start reducing each track. I can reduce each track to a level where it doesn't clip. And then after I do that, then I will be able to um, work on the vocals. And when everything sits properly, then I can start um, 
are mixing never you mix without gain staging you first have to to gain stage before you do uh, your mixing for use shift to do this shift and then your mouse wheel on your use your mouse wheel to uh, change the numbers so I'm gonna F3, solo that one, just one. So I show you an example, F3. So here is how you gain stage, simple way of gain staging in Cubase 5. You just open your mixer, which is F3, and then go to each track, each track, as you can see up here, it is written input gain. Gain is different from volume. You can reduce the volume just like others do, but that's not re recommended. Volume is the output level and gain is the input level. So watch what is going to happen to this one, this one right here. As you can see, it's a little bit going up there. So what we are going to do is... Uh, it's almost uh, clipping. Wh what I'm going to do is uh, gain stage in a very, very simple way. This one, Cubis, there are many ways you can gain stage, but this one is the, the simplest way. All you got to do is uh, go to each track. Let's say you want to work on this one. Just if this one is too much, it, let's say it's uh, the, vo the, the volume is somewhere here and it's clipping and you, you, you don't want to reduce this. This volume knob just has to be where it is. And uh, during gain staging, you have to use the input gain. And the input, how to use the input gain is use shift, hold shift and reduce it. So I'm going to show you an example. Uh, let me just uh, take it back to zero. An example using this one. As you can see, I have gain staged it using the input gain. The volume hasn't moved. Nothing has changed. I have just created room for other instruments to sit well. So this is the simplest way of gain staging. Uh, there are so many ways you can do uh, automation gain staging, but all the same, use what works for you. And this is what works for me. This gain staging in Cubase 5 works for me. I just come to um, input gain, open your mixer by pressing F3 and then come to to open your mixer and come to where it is uh, written input gain and hold shift and then uh, just reduce using your 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 mouth wheel or just double click and put in what you want to put in and then uh, it's, it's going to work out for you so basically this is the way you do gain stage so this is not gonna be affected all you are doing is to make sure that you don't clip. Then once you are done with that, you can go to um, the rest of the tracks. As you can see, I've reduced this one it's much better now. And now I'm going to the next one. Let's say it was here. Though it's not even clipping, but I can still reduce it right here like this. Gain stage it. Go to the next one. Hold shift and come to input gain and then reduce it somewhere here. This one is a little bit louder. Remember, if I leave this um, uh, without gain staging it, once I put in vocals and other instruments, it's really gonna clip. So what we are doing before you start mixing, gain stage everything. Every instrument has to be gain staged so that uh, you can leave room for vocals. And if there is anything that you wanna add in later, everything can still have room to breathe in and finally when you do your final uh mastering there will still be room for you to master your uh your your, your mix without 
clipping so for example like this one is i think for me it's too high the piano is too high so what am i go gonna do i'm going to hold shift and try to, to reduce it watch what what is gonna happen here So remember first we had to put it in the sweet spot so it's already in the sweet spot and what i'm doing is gain staging i am not reducing the volume this is different from reducing your volume the volume knob is not reducing what i'm doing is just gain staging giving my instruments more space so so that when i come to put in vocals uh everything can work out without clipping yeah so listen to it now So like this, I can um, I can go to vocals and work on the vocals. And once I'm done with the vocals, again staging everything. I'll now uh, go to mixing. Then I can start mixing everything, everything, everything. And once everything is mixed up, I can now go to um, mastering. I can master my tracks. Uh, don't mind this one which is clipping right here it's my microphone I, I i can still also do gain stage on this one like this yeah so look no matter how i shout it's not going to clip my microphone is not gonna clip but if i let's say i put it back to zero watch watch what is gonna happen everything have you seen everything it, it just clips but the moment i come to uh Input gain, this gain is used for uh, gain staging. Just watch what is going to happen. The volume is going to go down. This is not going to clip anymore. The volume knob is not going to change, but I have gain staged it. I have controlled the way the volume uh, is is uh, is getting into my uh, my mixer. So this is the way you, you gain stage everything. Let me take it back to zero because I'm not going to work with this one. I hope this video helped you and if this video helped you please leave me a like and uh, I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.